The origin of this video is undetermined. We believe it's from China. Watch closely. A man walks into this driveway. After he's struck by lightning, incredibly, he gets up and then... A double lightning strike. Amazing. And in August 2020, another stunning video. This truck in Thailand gets stuck on some overhead wires. When the driver gets out, he's in for a shock. Look again. As we push in and slow down, the man literally catches fire and collapses. But the craziest thing is, he survived with only minor burns. The questions that pop into my mind, how could he survive something like that? Professor Diana Pasulka says massive electrocutions are known to do strange things to people. For one thing, lightning strikes often leave bizarre markings called Lichtenberg figures on people's flesh. There are people who seem to develop electroimmunity, like this man in India, who brags about an ability to withstand lethal levels of electricity. And Pasulka has even heard of one survivor who later developed a peculiar talent. She had this very sad and burdensome skill of identifying when plane crashes are going to happen. So I think that we have to think about these people who survive these kinds of terrible um, electrocutions as definitely superhumans in one sense. Nearly a quarter million people get hit by lightning each year. Their injuries depend in part on where the strike hits them and how the jolt moves through their body. But it's rare for these incidents to be caught on camera. So is this footage real? And can it tell us anything about whether these people have an extraordinary ability to resist a massive electrical charge? Let's take our video to the experts. Our atmospheric scientist, Dr. Deanna Hens, says the alleged China footage raises some red flags. It is interesting that this person is struck by lightning in the middle of the street when there's lots and lots and lots of much taller objects on all sides of them. That would have to be an incredible stroke of bad luck to still be struck, struck by lightning in the middle of this uh, relatively narrow street. And the footage is sending science writer Mick West into full debunking mode. The suspicious thing here is that it doesn't like the tops of the trees, and this shadow here remains the same. With a few keystrokes, he shows us how the lightning was inserted. What if I take this particular frame and just uh, ex give a, an exposure modification to it? So I did that. And we basically get the same image, and then just draw some kind of jaggy line like this. And take that and blur it. But he believes the tie footage is for real, despite the theatrical way the victim collapses. When he fell over, that looks very strange uh, because he just kind of went stiff and then fell over. But that's actually what happens. It looks very unnatural. So if this footage is real, does this flaming man have a superhuman power? And how does India's Electro Man do it? West says that special power is like beauty. It's skin deep. There are some people who have essentially thicker, drier skin than other people which means their skin has more resistance because for electricity to be uh, transmitted in the human body, it generally needs some kind of uh, moisture, like water. It's almost like you're wearing a set of extra gloves. So here's where we're ending up. The China video is a straight up hoax. Please, the shadows gave it away. But the Thai video is real, and it does suggest that some people can take massive jolts of electricity, possibly, because of their skin. Our verdict? It may be a rare physical trait. It's May 2020 in Calahorra, Spain. A local man named Juan Carlos Gil Lopez is walking through a nearby park on a bright spring day. Suddenly, he sees something so utterly mind-bending, he immediately has to film it to make sure he's not hallucinating. A line of fire is moving steadily across the ground. As it burns, it leaves behind green, undamaged grass. Look closely. The fire reaches benches and eventually trees, but none of that seems to burn. Juan was understandably stunned. Yo no recuerdo que hubiera pasado una cosa parecida a esta en en esta zona. Entonces, pues bueno, fue bastante chocante y bastante impactante el ver pues cómo avanzaba el fuego y pues eso cómo ardía. Humans are naturally fascinated by fire. 
It's an evolutionary survival mechanism developed to make us aware of these dangers from out of the womb. So there's a reason we're mesmerized by images like this Texas tree burning from inside and this downright devilish fire tornado seen in the UK in 2018. Is what Juan captured a similar freak of nature, or was it planned? The U.S. government regularly starts fires on purpose. These so-called controlled burns are meant to protect communities, restore habitats, and even control pests. Maybe that's what's going on here. In the U.S., 6.4 million acres were subject to controlled burns in 2017 alone. Is the Spanish government doing something similar here? Maybe it's just another video hoax. In case of emergency, break class and call in the experts. First, video forensics expert Michael Primo runs a test to make sure this isn't actually digital manipulation. When we were assessing the digital integrity of the file itself, there was a signature that came up using our forensic tool called MedEx that has the ability to make changes to a file. While that sounds like a red flag, Primo digs deeper. Although this tool can make changes to a file, we didn't detect any evidence that this fire was created unnaturally in the video, and no evidence to support that this was CGI. We turn to atmospheric scientist Dr. Deanna Hentz to find out if conditions in this region of Spain would sustain a fire like this. Well, I looked at the climate conditions around the time that this video was filmed. In this particular region, it was actually quite wet. There was plenty of moisture in the environment through rainfall that could account for why everything was so green and lush. And because the fire is moving very quickly, that doesn't really leave a lot of time for the objects around it to dry out and then catch on fire. That explains why the grass and trees and benches don't ignite. But how would such a strangely shaped fire form in the first place? Our all-star physicist, Michio Kaku, shed some light on the matter. We don't have that much direct experience with large fires. And if you did, you would realize flames go in the direction where you have lots of oxygen, lots of tinder, and lots of surface area. Kaku explains that the white discoloration in the grass in the front of the flames is actually the fluffy seeds of the poplar trees around the park. That's what is actually catching fire and why the narrow flame is moving so fast. Notice here that the poplars are burning because that's where you have maximum surface area. The first things to burn will be those places where we have maximum surface area. In fact, the same principle that causes these poplar seeds to burn so quickly also applies in your own home. That's why a newspaper burns very fast, while a log in a fireplace will take a lot of time for it to heat up because a newspaper, for a given weight, has a maximum amount of surface area. So, our verdict. While this mesmerizing fire appears to act mysteriously and contrary to nature, its bizarre behavior is actually an idiosyncrasy of environment and physics. Officials at this park believe the fire was started unintentionally from a cigarette or other stray spark. June 4th, 2020. Just another day in Detroit, Michigan. Tracy Bell is walking to her car with a friend as she catches a glimpse of something out of the ordinary. What is, what is that? Crazy stuff. What's going on? Take a closer look. It appears to be a dark ring-like formation making its way through the clouds. Unusual for sure, but Tracy has her own idea about what she's witnessing. Oh my God, the aliens have attacked. That's not all. Another was recorded in the skies over Moscow in 2018. <laughs> Then again in 2019 over a snowy field in Montana. What are these? Was Tracy Bell right? Oh my God, the aliens have attacked. The fact that a person would jump immediately to UFOs isn't that far out in left field. A lot of reports come in of people seeing UFOs enter into clouds and not come out. So are they using it for camouflage? Some speculate these strange rings are created by jets part of a secret worldwide conspiracy known as chemtrails. Chemtrails, or chemical trails, is also known as geoengineering or climate engineering. 
believers say what we assume to be normal contrails are in fact laced with dangerous metals and chemicals which dissipate into the atmosphere. Heavy metals like aluminum, barium, strontium, these are hitting us in ways that are deleterious to our health and to the environment. But why? The theory goes that governments are doing this for nefarious purposes, like weather modification, even population and mind control. 17% of people surveyed in an international study said they believe governments are involved in some sort of secret atmospheric program. Is that what's going on here? Or maybe these are alien ships masquerading as clouds. We went to our video analyst, Mark D'Antonio, to take a closer look. Our first question, is this a UFO? It really is pretty cool looking. Is it some kind of unidentified object? You know, what is this ring in the sky? But D'Antonio says in his years of research, UFOs come in various shapes, triangles, cigars, orbs, but never rings. I've never seen one in association with a UFO report. This doesn't fit the classic profile when it comes to a UFO. So if we're not looking at a UFO, then could they be chemtrails? Chemtrails are typically described as long, feathery material. But in this case, it doesn't fit the profile for the classic chemtrail spray that we've been hearing about throughout our history. So are we looking at some sort of weather event? We take that question to atmospheric scientist Dr. Deanna Hentz, who examines the video filmed by Tracy Bell. It's at an altitude that's much lower than all of the cloud that's around it. And a perfectly circular thing is not something you frequently see, and especially not so low in the atmosphere. And Hentz finds another glaring clue which rules out a weather anomaly. Another thing was the ring's color. The fact that it was so dark doesn't suggest that it's made of water. This is something that's more akin to smoke or soot, something of that nature. OK, so we've narrowed it down to a smoke ring. But what could possibly cause one so large? D'Antonio has a theory. This object is potentially created by a diesel engine. <laughs> diesel engines have a long, tall stack. And when they start up, they typically will expel a lot of black smoke, you know, boom, and off they go. This video proves it. Watch the formation of a smoke ring. As that plume is pushing through all that colder air around it, it's actually going to wrap up the smoke that's already in that circular shape. That combination creates that nice ring. So there you have it. It's likely these rings were created by a factory smokestack or some sort of large engine. The good news is that we're not looking at a worldwide government conspiracy or even something from another planet. The bad news, it's just more evidence of how we're polluting ours. Our verdict, smoke rings. It's May 2019 near Minsk, Belarus. A man named Andrei Turkhanovets posts a bizarre video. Watch. Let's rewind that back. What is that bright blue sphere? And how can it travel across the railroad tracks, throwing off sparks as it moves? The internet's reaction blew Andre's mind. It has almost uh, two million viewers uh, at this moment. Some commenters guess that Andre has recorded a rare phenomenon known as ball lightning strange luminescent balls in the air that eyewitnesses have been reporting since the 1600s. Some 19th century accounts claim they smelled of sulfur and consider them the work of the devil. More recently, there was this sighting near a field in Novosibirsk, Russia. This image resembles a phenomenon reported back in World War II. Odd zigzagging balls of light in the sky. Allied fighter pilots dubbed them Foo Fighters. And it was really kind of universally believed uh, amongst the Allies that this was likely some type of uh, advanced Nazi uh, technology. 
But interestingly enough, when you look at uh, the Luftwaffe, so the German Air Force, they were seeing them too. To this day, some scientists argue that ball lightning doesn't exist based on how rarely it's seen. So is that what we're seeing here? To kick off our analysis, we went back to our forensic video analyst, Michael Primo. Primo begins by breaking down Andre's video, focusing not on the images, but the sounds. I noted that the sounds were up front and didn't sound natural with being in the outdoors. Sounds like something that was added. He concludes that the Belarus video has been edited. Yet he says the other example from Russia has not been. So could it be an example of the famous Foo Fighters? McMillan says the ball of light looks similar, but behaves differently. What's uh, been called a Foo Fighter lasted for a great deal of time and engaged in a lot of maneuvers and stuff that you just don't see there. So could it instead be a natural weather phenomenon? Atmospheric scientist Dr. Deanna Hens traced the weather conditions in Russia at the time of the sighting. If you're going to get ball lightning, lightning also has to be generally a likelihood, and I'm not seeing a lot of evidence of either. It does kind of reduce the likelihood that that is a possibility. However, Hens concedes that so little is known about ball lightning that it's hard to rule out. It is a very poorly understood phenomenon, and because it's difficult to capture, it's also very, very difficult to study. So the Russian video might be a genuine example. But when we talk to Andre toward the end of our investigation, he admits he created the dazzling effect in his video with CGI. I processed uh, the video on my computer with um, a specialized software. Though he never thought it would go viral. So our verdict, the Belarus video is clearly doctored. Please, that sound design was a dead giveaway. As far as the other footage, we're going to say it might be genuine ball lightning. But what causes ball lightning remains a mystery. A good reminder to remain as humble as we are curious in the face of the unknown.